an automatic mode failure will occur for the following conditions. Cabin altitude exceeds 14,000 feet, AC power is lost for more than 15 seconds, or cabin rate of change exceeds 1,800 feet per minute. The auto fail light illuminates whenever the automatic mode fails. The standby mode is automatically initiated any time the automatic mode fails. The standby light illuminates whenever the standby mode is operating, regardless of automatic activation or operator selection. The standby mode regulates cabin altitude and rate of climb according to the pre-selected inputs for each phase of flight. Should the standby mode fail, the standby light extinguishes. Should the automatic and standby modes fail, cabin altitude is maintained by manually adjusting the pressurization outflow valve. Manual valve movements can be powered by essential AC, which provides faster valve movements using the manual AC position or battery power using the manual DC position. When a manual mode is selected, the manual light illuminates. The pressurization outflow valve is opened or closed using the outflow valve manual control switch when either manual mode is selected. The manual control switch has two operating positions, close and open. The switch is spring-loaded to the center neutral position and must be held in close or open to manually move the pressurization outflow valve. Valve movements are monitored on the outflow valve indicator. Should cabin altitude exceed 10,000 feet, an intermittent cabin warning horn sounds. The cabin altitude warning horn is silenced by pressing the altitude horn cutout button. The altitude horn automatically resets when the cabin altitude drops below 9,500 feet. Should the aircraft descend prior to reaching a scheduled cruise altitude, the off-scheduled descent light illuminates. If the descent continues, the cabin altitude automatically begins a descent towards 200 feet below the departure field elevation. Loss of cabin pressure is indicated by a simultaneous increase in the cabin rate of climb, decrease in PSID, and an increase in cabin altitude. A fully depressurized aircraft is indicated by zero PSID, cabin altitude, equal to aircraft altitude, and the cabin rate of climb mirrors the aircraft rate of climb or descent. In flight, cabin pressure is not controllable if differential pressure remains at zero. In this example, although the cabin rate of climb shows a descent, cabin pressure is still not controlled. Now let's try a few questions. 